I'm going to show you the best Diluc deck out there. This deck consists of Mona, Diluc, and Bennett as your starting lineup and is insanely fun. The game plan is simple. On turn 1, you set up using Mona and apply Hydro, or use setup cards like Wolf's Raystone and other generally good cards like Catherine. Then, you swap into Saitama next turn and. Them using this Mount Fova card and Diluc Searing Onslaught. You then swap into Bennett so he can get hit, which makes sense lore wise. You can use him for a bit to chip down the enemy's health so you can one shot with Wolf's Greystone, or apply Hydro using Mona and one shot the enemy again if you can. You can substitute Wolf's Greystone for White Iron Greatsword, but generally, Wolf's Greystone is better in most cases. Cards you generally want to keep in your hand are Diluc's Weapon, the card that enables your one punch, I mean one shot, and Pot of Greed. Here are two games using this deck, one where I had the perfect setup and one where I didn't. I generally try to start with Mona so I can apply Hydro when I need to. This turn my opponent set up using most of their setup cards and used Oz, so I did the same. I drew cards and I used Libin so that I could prepare for my next turn. Next turn I would draw more cards and have more dice. This turn, because I had so many dice, I was able to set up on my opponent and apply hydro effects on both my enemies since they swapped. If they didn't swap, I would have just one shot this Oceanid, but because they did swap, I ended up setting up on their sucrose instead. Next turn, I should be able to one shot both of them if they're both in play. This turn, this is where the fun begins. After he goes, he's not gonna know what hit him. So I start off using the Pyro Resonance card and giving my Dialogue 3 extra damage when he causes the Vaporize effect. So 3 plus 2 plus 3 is 9 damage, so I one shot it instantly. Boom! Dead. Next is the Oceanid, which will suffer the same fate. Boom! All that's left is a 3v1, and because my Diluc has a hole. It's basically over. A single fish hook just can't beat my entire team without any elemental reactions. I ult it. And then I used my skill to finish it off. That was a game where the setup was really good. Now here's a game where my setup wasn't as good. For the second game, I did the same as I did the first game. I started with Mona so I could set up on my opponent. Used Catherine. And 
and Paimon. So I can get more dice and free swaps next turn. Then I equip the artifact on that loot, so his skills would cost one less. Then, my opponent started to set up on me. Applied Hydro on my Mona. Next turn, because I didn't have the necessary one-shot cards that I needed, I just decided to deal a lot of damage to their Ayaka. During my next turn, because they had swapped to Ramona, I instantly one shot it with my old. Now, all they had was ice, and no water to permanently freeze me. And I continued to chip away at their health. I swapped to Bennett, because he was essentially doing the same thing as I Luke. And when he ulted, he would be able to give my entire team 2 bonus attack if they were greater than 7 health or heal them. Unfortunately, they killed my Mona, but I just continued to attack and use setup cards. This was while they were healing their entire team. During my turn, I ulted with Bennett and equipped that Luke with the weapon and started dealing damage with the Bennett. Once they were low enough, I just fought to my Deluc and killed them both. And there you have it. The one punch deck in the new Genshin Impact card game. If this video helped you and you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. If not, I'll settle for a like. Thanks for watching. Until next time.